Okay, YouTubers, I just want to give you a little update on my plane, a little more details as the video from the other day wasn't uh, wasn't the best. Um, here's the new plane, I'm calling it the Long Surfer. It's 56 inch wingspan, uh, five sheets of Dollar Tree foam board, uh, two on each wing half, um, and then one for the fuselage tube. I just wanted to show kind of how I made the uh, the wing halves. I joined them. So this is two pieces of foam board. You can see there's a joint there in the middle. I just taped over the joint, butted them as close together as I can, taped over that, and then just folded that like I would, um, like Ed does with the arm and wing technique. But uh, ends up with a nice smooth joint. You can hardly tell that there's a foam board seam there. So that's what I've I've done here. You can see the the joint is is nice and smooth um, you wouldn't hardly ever know that that was two sheets of uh, Dollar Tree foam board joined together so I was pretty happy with the result I, I think it opens up some doors as far as making bigger wings different designs um, you know I don't see any drawback in it so far this plane has flown I actually kind of uh, glided it into a tree the other day and no damage or, or uh, marks whatsoever. So, anyways, uh, a little more tour of the plane, I guess. It's um, I just used some coroplast out here on the edges of the wings. Put uh, bamboo skewer that's split in half. You can see the lines, vertical lines there, just to strengthen that up a little bit. Um, got a clover leaf antenna that uh, leads into this little little hatch in here. I've got. Uh, 800 milliwatt 1.2 gigahertz video transmitter and then that's a DC uh, 12 volt DC microphone I found for for cheap on eBay um, and it seems seems to respond pretty well it's not doesn't get uh, doesn't get saturated by by noise or anything like that so that lives in here um, I cut I cut a small it's probably hard to see but the heat sink I, I mounted a heat sink uh, with some thermal adhesive that I have uh, on the back side of the video transmitter so that keeps it cool. The thing was was cool to the touch um, after after a flight the other day and I also added some uh, some silicone based uh, thermal interface material under under the shield can of the uh, video transmitter so I just wanted to make sure the thing stays cool. Um, back up in there you probably can't see it but <clears throat> There's an LC filter um, that's uh, leading onto that video transmitter, and so far I haven't had any troubles with uh, video interference. Um, the rest here, 1.75 inch control surfaces um, over on this other wing tip. I have a uh, little hatch, my range link receiver, all the servos are running in here, and then Right about here is uh, the IB Crazy turnstile antenna. I had to extend one leg of it out of the wing. The whole footprint wouldn't fit here. So this is just a bamboo skewer and the, uh, the wire lead for the end of the antenna is leading out there. So we'll see how that works. I might replace that with like a piece of rubber, rubber tubing or something like that. But all the servers are in here, or the uh, receivers here, servo for the Olivons right there. And, and see the SMA coax leads leads over here to the uh, to the turnstile. Um, I cut another hatch up here. This is um, my Nova OSD servos are running into here. I've got RSI, RSSI out leads uh, leads over to the receiver, and that's that seems to be working pretty well. Um, I ran the IR sensor down, out, under and mounted the IR sensor right right up here on the tip. I haven't tested that out yet but I guess we'll see if I have any trouble with the uh, return to home or uh, PA pilot assist uh, feature. I didn't on my old plane so I'm hopeful it, it works good here. Um, other than that I just stuck the GPS right there. doesn't seem to get any have any trouble getting it fixed. Um, so that's pretty much the electronics up, up in the wing. Um, down here, I made a pan and tilt out of uh, some foam board, 
mounted my security camera 2000 camera on a piece of foam board and I uh, guess I gotta put this down but uh, this will tilt and pan and and uh, so far that I haven't tested that either because I forgot my head tracker cable when I flew the other day um, turn this around I've got an RC timer BC3536-5 this is a 1400 kV motor I'm spinning a 9x6 APC style prop that RC timer sells the uh, motors mounted on a piece of uh, Stimson strong tie bracket this was suggested by Templeton on RC groups and I've had good good luck with these things I uh, I mount it here in the back and then um, actually put a, a little piece of cloth uh, from a cut up t-shirt and it's probably hard to see but it's um, it's down through two layers of foam board and I just cinch that down right here the gray that you see is uh, 3M double sided tape and and that combo seems seems bulletproof the uh, the cloth keeps keeps the bracket against the uh, adhesive tape and okay the uh, the other thing to see here is I've mounted the uh, the wing to the fuselage with the same 3M double sided tape and the stuff I've found is uh, is really good in in tension but not so much in shear um, so just to keep them in contact I put a, a zip tie here with a little piece of gift card to distribute the force and there's the same thing on the underside I cinched that down to keep the wing close against the fuselage so the uh, the adhesive doesn't have a tendency to shear away from the foam board and that's worked out good on my previous plane and so I did the same thing here um, other things of note uh, I cut a small hatch up under here it's kind of hard with me holding the camera but set this down for a second there's a hatch here uh, 60 amp BSC's up inside there I've got got two 2200 milliamp lipos right up here um, current sensor and an LC filter supplying the OSD um, so that's pretty much pretty much the tour uh, the, uh, the only other thing of note is the uh, the interior of the wing here. There's a former about three inches, three and a half inches at the root, and it's about two and a half inches at the tip here. Um, is filled with uh, great stuff foam in this whole cavity, and this is super rigid. It's uh, you know I can't I can't press on that and compress it with my finger. So really happy with the plane. It's uh, all up weights. Uh, uh, about 4.6 pounds so not too heavy flies plenty of power with this combo so very happy with it